What's up guys, it's Lou from Unbox Therapy and today we're taking a look at the Voyager Air from Corsair. This is the one terabyte model and even though at first glance it looks like your standard everyday external hard drive, this packs in a lot more in terms of functionality. It is a mobile wireless storage device with Ethernet that will give you the ability to stream a ton of content to a number of different mobile devices including the iPad for example. So I'm going to give you a quick breakdown on how that works in the real world world. I'll give you an example. As you guys know, you have limited storage on an iPad. At most, even if you get the most expensive version, you only get 64 gigabytes of storage, which for people who are media hoarders like myself, that's actually not a ton, especially for HD video content. So you get a device like this, which has a built-in network interface, and this will give you the ability to have access at all times to your entire media library. Now, since this also has a built-in battery capable of providing up to seven hours of continuous video streaming, that means that you can take this thing with you in a portable sense while you're on the go, whether you're going on a road trip, doing some air travel. You can stick this in your backpack, have all your media with you, and never have to worry about offloading that content from your iPad, you know, moving some video files off, moving some music off, and then rearranging everything. That's really an annoyance. So even though this will work as your standard one terabyte drive, what makes it special is that ability with the built-in battery and the ability to stream content from it. In fact, you can stream up to five separate video streams, so it'll even work with your friends, you know, if you've got multiple iPads in your environment. Let's talk about the unboxing. The first thing you saw was actually a little adapter for the power brick. It just clips in. As you can tell, this is a universal brick. So depending on your region, you'll get the subsequent prongs that match up. This also comes with a car adapter, which is pretty cool. I guess they understand that this will make a lot of sense to use in your car on a road trip. You've also got a proprietary cable. It looks like it's a proprietary cable with USB on the other end. This does support USB. USB 3 so you're going to get some really quick file transfer. It'll allow you to copy full HD movies in seconds to be more precise. The device is black and red which are two of my favorite colors especially when used in combination and other than that it sort of looks like your standard external hard drive portable one that is because I'm guessing it's got a two and a half inch disc hard disk drive in the inside. You get a little carrying pouch as well. This is a soft microfiber like cloth with a drawstring to keep it's safe from dust and whatnot when you happen to be traveling with it. There's a closer look at the USB cable as well as your power adapter. You're going to plug this into the wall when you're using it at home, but also to recharge the device when you're ready to take it on a trip. Now, this is useful up to 90 feet or 30 meters in terms of range, so you can actually be a fair distance from it and still be streaming back content. You can see you've got LEDs on the front, which will notify you of the functionality of the device, whether it's powered on, whether the Wi-Fi is turned on, for example. This will work with iOS. It'll work with devices like the iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch, and Android tablets and smartphones. So regardless of what you use, you're going to be able to get wonderful streaming and one terabyte of wireless storage for any of those mobile devices. I'm pretty sure that you guys are either using Android or iOS. Actually, let's go ahead and do a quick poll right now. Are you using Android for your main device or are you using iOS like an iPhone or an iPad as your main mobile device? Or maybe you're using neither. Maybe you use Windows Phone or something, or maybe you're on BlackBerry. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. Let's have a quick little tally of how many users are on each platform. It would be cool to go through the comments and take a quick peek at that. Anyways, that wraps up the first look at the Voyager Air. This is your solution for content, for media when you're on the go, so you can take all those wonderful video files with you. I'm not going to ask where you got all those video files from. That's completely up to you, but this is going to give you the ability to take like full seasons of shows and not be limited by the storage that's included on your mobile device, which generally speaking, isn't all that great. If you're interested in pricing and availability on the Voyager Air from Corsair, I will drop a link down in the description that'll show you all that information. Thanks as always for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this content, please remember to leave a thumbs up down below. It means a lot. And other than that, we'll catch you on the next video. Later. No, no, no.